Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. I am Mohammed, and today we'll be implementing Excel import and export in ASP.NET Core 5. So what are we gonna be covering today? First, we're gonna be discussing the ingredients that we need, and then we're gonna be jumping directly into coding. As always, you will find the source code in the description down below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. It will really help the channel. So what are the ingredients? We need basically two things. We need Visual Studio Code, and .NET 5 SDK. You can find the links on the screen or in the description down below, and the installation process is very straightforward. Now let's jump into coding. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be checking the version of our .NET Core SDK. So how are we gonna be doing that? So we're gonna utilize the .NET dash dash version for us to check that. So inside our terminal, we're gonna type .NET dash dash version and we can see that we have version 5.0.02 next let me navigate to the correct directory and from here i'm going to be creating our application and we're basically we're going to utilize an mvc application and we're going to be utilizing the .NET new keyword so .NET new mvc dash n and we're going to call it sample excel great this should take a few seconds Perfect, now that we have our application created, let's navigate to it and let's open it in Visual Studio Code. Okay, great. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna open our terminal and we're gonna build the application to make sure everything is building as it should be. So .NET build. And it should take also a few seconds to be completed. Great. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be running the application so that not run. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to be visiting this URL. So localhost. Port 5000 and we're gonna go to the index page perfect and we can see now the application is running as it should be great the next step is we're gonna be utilizing a new get package in order for us to accomplish this and this new get package is called e plus so we're gonna be utilizing the dot nut add package e plus dot core and we're gonna be utilizing this version number 1.5.4 great this should take also a few seconds great now that we have uh, the NuGet package installed let us check that it has installed successfully by going to sample.excel.cs approach oh sorry I have misspelled e plus plus so we need with the L Perfect, now it has installed successfully. Great, so once we have done that, the next step for us is we need to start creating our model. So inside the models folder, we're gonna be creating a new class and we're gonna call it user. And inside the user class, we're gonna have three properties. So the first gonna be public, string, name, get set, Then we're gonna have an email and then we're gonna have a mobile phone number. Great. Now that we have created our model, now let's start by creating our controller. So inside the controllers folder, let's create a new class and we're gonna call it users controller. Great. Now, once we have created our class, now let's import from the controller class, inherit directly from here and let's fix the references. Great, now let us create our first action. And this action is basically gonna be the index action. So public I action result, and we're gonna call it index. It's gonna be a very simple action. So we're gonna return a view. And basically here, this action is only gonna be 
showing us the list of users. So, so for us to mimic an actual uh, table or basically an actual database operation, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a sample function. We're going to call it private. It's going to return an, a list of user. And basically we're going to call this function or method get user list. And we're going to be hard coding some of the uh, user information just so we can make some kind of a database operation. Great. Now, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating var users equal new list of user. And we're going to be filling it up. And let's return it directly. Great. And here, all we're going to be doing is new user. And the first user is going to be myself, email equal muhammad at email.com. The second one is going to be name equal Muhammad. And last one is phone, which is going to be one, 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 one. Okay, this is the first user. Now let's create another two. And the second one is going to be, let's say, Donald Duck. And we'll call it Donald. And maybe here we can Mickey Mouse. And here we're going to make it Mickey. And let's update the phone number 2222 and 3333. Okay, great. Now that we have a sample user list, which is going to be mimicking our database operation. So let's add a comment here saying that it's going to be mimicking the database operation. Great. Now, once we have done that, uh, let us use this list in the index. And let's create a variable called var users. And we're going to return this user list here. And basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to returning this to the index. Perfect. Now, inside our users folder, let's create a new folder. And we're going to call this folder users. And inside this users folder, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new file. And this file is going to call index.html.cshtml. Sorry. Great. Now that we have done this, the first thing is we're going to be adding the model. And basically, it's going to be a list of sample Excel. And I think it's models.user. Yep. And then after that, basically, we're going to be utilizing some bootstrap classes. So div class row. And here we're just going to put the two buttons, one for the import, one for the export. So div class uh, called dash md dash six. And basically, we're just going to create an href ASP. The, these actions are not created yet, but we're going to be creating them. So for now, let's, let's just add them, export to Excel. And it's going to be ASP-controller. And it's going to be users. Let's give it a class of BTN, BTN-primary. And we'll give it a name of export to Excel. Great. Now let's copy this instead of retyping it. And here it's going to be import from Excel. And we need to change the action name from export to import. Great. Now once we have done that, let us just create a small table. So the V class row. And then inside this, we're going to create a div class called dash md dash 12. And then inside this, we're going to create a table. And we're going to make it a class a table. Bootstrap classes we're going to be using. And then we're going to put the t header. And then we're going to put th. Oh, sorry, th, uh, td. Uh, okay, tr. And inside the TR, we're going to put the TDs. So TD email. 
let's copy this name and phone great now let's create the body t body great and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to also create a loop so at for each and this one's just going to loop through the model that we have and we're going to call it user and basically we need to create rows so tr and inside that's tr we're going to create tds and basically we're going to be at user.email and then dot name dot phone so let's copy these dot name dot phone perfect so let's try it out and see what do we have so let's do dot not run great now let's go to our web browser and let's refresh perfect now let's go to our users controllers and we can see here that we have the email name phone with every all of the information that we have now we're gonna add the export functionality great so how do we do that first let us stop the application and inside the user controllers what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new method a new action so in here let's create a new action public i action result and we're going to call it export to excel let's just make sure that this is the same name that we have added in the index perfect so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be utilizing the same list of users that we had before so var users equal get user list now we have the list of user which is basically here getting the information from our mimic db okay great now let's uh, start by creating the excel file so start exporting to excel At first we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a stream and this inside the stream this is going to be the file that we're going to be downloading to the user's machine so stream equal new memory stream great once we have done that, now we're going to be utilizing the package that we have installed. Let us fix this uh, reference. Great. Now here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using using. And then var, we're going to call it Excel package. Basically an Excel package. Equal new Excel package. And we're going to pass the stream into it. Great. Now let's after this fix the references perfect so now we have done that the next step for us is we're going to be defining a new worksheet inside excel so define a worksheet and this worksheet is going to be basically var worksheet equal xl package dot workbook dot worksheets dot add and we're going to call this worksheet users because it's going to be having users information inside the next step basically if we want to add some, um, let's say, coloring or some uh, styling into it. You don't really have to do that, but I'm just showing it to you here so you know how you can add it. So, look at far, and we're going to call it named uh, custom style equal, let's say, xl package dot workbook dot styles dot create named styles, and we're going to create it uh, custom style perfect now let's add a comment here we're gonna call it styling great now once we have done that now let's add some styles so custom style dot style dot font dot underline true just some random styling so we can just see it and then custom style dot style dot font dot color dot set color and we're going to be utilizing the color dot uh, for example let's say red uh, let's fix the references great and after that uh, now we need to specify from which row uh, we're going to be starting populating our uh, excel sheet so 
we're gonna sit here first row so we're gonna put it uh, make it as a var and start row without sorry without the end so it's gonna be start row equal to five great so once we have done that now we're just gonna do var row because this is the one we're gonna be iter sorry iterating through equal start row great now the next step after that is basically we're gonna be creating the worksheet as we have said and we're gonna be calling it sample so we're gonna have the first worksheet dot cells and we're gonna be utilizing the a1 so basically the first cell that we have and we're gonna give it inside this value sample so basically we're giving a sample uh, sample user export for example let's call it like that so this is the first uh, row in the first cell inside our excel sheet we're just gonna have this value now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make this uh, um, let's say this sheet or this uh, row is uh, sorry this cell is gonna be expanding through different rows so it's like merged across three or four uh, cells so how do we do that so just it will look nice it's nothing other than looks right now so using var let's call it r equal worksheet dot cells and we're gonna make it expand between a1 and c1 great and then inside this basically we're gonna make it merge so equal to true we are merging all of these cells together and then we're just gonna add in some styling so r dot font sorry r dot style dot font uh, dot set color let's see dot, dot color dot set color and we're gonna give it for example color dot green for example uh, just the green yeah and let's give it also a background color so it will look nice so r dot style dot fill dot background color dot set color correct and then we're gonna give it color uh, let's give it background color of uh, lavender for example I don't know what's the color of lavender but it should be nice okay now we have done that now let us start building our uh, table inside the excel sheet so worksheet dot cells and we're gonna using the a41 says we said we're gonna start at row five so we're gonna be filling the table header on the fourth uh, row so a4 dot value and this is gonna be basically name and then we're gonna be worksheet dot cells it's gonna be b4 dot value it's gonna be the email and the last one is gonna be worksheet dot cells on c4 dot value and this is going to be the phone perfect so now uh, once we have done that uh, let's give it a background color so it will be easily separatable that this is the uh, this is the table header so we're going to be worksheet dot cells and we're going to say it's going to be from a4 to c4 and we're going to give it dot st uh, style dot let's say uh, by dot color sorry dot fill dot uh, pat mm, i think it's dot background color correct dot set color and we're gonna use color dot uh let's give it the uh, color yellow for example okay that should be fine now once we have done that all we need to do is uh we're gonna be just looping through the information that we have and filling our information so as we have said the row is gonna be on five and then we're gonna make for each var user in i think it's users correct 
and then basically here we're gonna put worksheet dot cells and here we're gonna make the row dynamic so it's gonna be row because basically we're gonna be looping through it and we're gonna give it the first cell and we're gonna put the value and it's gonna be equal user dot name great and then similar let's take this copy let's make it another two times and then this is going to be the second cell and this is going to be the third cell and this is going to be the email and this is going to be the phone perfect and all we need to do is because we are going to be incrementing the rows so it's going to be row plus plus great so basically row plus plus if you don't know it's equal to row equal to row plus one so we're just adding increment of one once we have done this the rest is going to be very simple all we need to do is just give the title for this worksheet so we're going to be xl package dot workbook dot properties dot title and we're going to call it user list uh, let's give it the author name if you want xl package dot workbook dot properties dot author and it's going to put my name muhammad and then uh, all we need to do is put xl dot xl package dot save so basically what we are doing here we are saving to the memory of our application right now and the last thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the stream position to zero which means that we're going to start downloading it from zero because as you know a stream uh, is like a an array so we need to set it on the beginning of those array and then all we need to do is return file and inside this file is going to be the array which is going to be the stream that we have and here basically it's going to be application application yeah forward slash vnd dot open xml formats formats dash office document and all of these information basically are just uh, uh, you can google them up what is the mime type of an excel sheet and you can find them so office document i think it's dot uh, spreadsheet uh let's see spreadsheet dot sheet i think this is it and let's put let's call it users uh, dot xlsx okay great uh this should be it now let's save it and now let's build it and run it this should take a few seconds great 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 now let's go back to our web browser and let's refresh and now let's click on export to excel oh we have an error i think the color is not right so let's fix that it is on line 46 okay so it says here that background color dot set color well, let's do it mm. i think it's gonna be from rgb uh, let's give it any random color uh, let's see 55 93 i think that should fix it let's, let's try let's stop the application and run it again okay now it's running let us refresh and download it's the same uh, da, 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 let's see so r dot fill dot background dot set color okay i think we need to add the pattern type okay let's add that r dot style dot fill dot pattern type equal i see open sorry it's gonna be office i think office open xml dot style correct yeah dot excel fill style excel fill style this is it dot solid uh, let's see if this will help okay let's refresh hmm okay so now it's a different one on line 53 great uh i think it's going to be the same thing so let's copy this 
and that's updated here so it's gonna be basically similar to this so similar to like this okay let's stop this and let's run it again let's refresh okay we can see it's downloaded let's click on it again and we can see okay perfect we can see it's downloaded correctly and now if we open it we can see here let's make this bigger so you guys can see it let's make this bigger okay let's make it smaller and let's zoom in and as we can see here, we have the sample user export with the title that we have specified before. As well, we have the name and the emails as well as the phone number. Perfect. So once we have done that, uh, well, all what's left is for us to create an import functionality. So just let us do a quick recap on what we have done here. It should be also very simple. So the first thing that we done, let's stop the application so we can go through it again. So the first thing here is we got the users. Basically, you, need, you will need to get this information from your database. Then we have created the memory stream that we're going to be downloading to the user. Utilize the Excel package from the uh, package that we have installed. And then basically, we define the worksheet, define some styles. And then basically, we started uh, on row 5. Then we created the main, uh, let's say, title of the sheet, if you want. So called it sample user export. And then basically we created all of the headers for the table name, email with phone with some styling. And then we looped through the information that we have. And lastly, we have downloaded to the user. Perfect. So the next step after this is we're going to be creating the import functionality. And this is also going to be very easy. So um, that's in order for us to do that. Let us create a new action. We'll add it here, and this action basically is going to be HTTP GET, and we're going to call it public I action result, and we're going to call it batch user upload. Very simple, and all right now all it's going to do is return a view, because basically here it's going to take a Excel sheet and process it and show the results. Perfect. So the next step is basically. Uh, we're, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the post for it right now. So HTTP post. Why is it not happy? Oh, I didn't add return. Apologize. So after that, it's going to be public. Uh, let's add a val token validation. So validate anti. Oh, so validate anti foreign key. Now we're going to put I action result. And then here we're going to call it batch user upload as well. And it's going to take an I form. If I can type form file, we're going to call it batch user. Great. So let's fix this reference. And now basically what we're going to be doing is uh, first, we're going to check if the model that we're going to sending back is valid. So if model state that is valid, we're going to be continuing. Else, we're going to return to view. That's the first check that we're going to be doing. Second, what we're going to do is we're going to check if this actually has you, uh, information inside of it. So if batch user dot length is bigger than zero and let's, let's check if this is null first maybe it's not uh, maybe because we're not going to add right now client side validation so let's check the validation from here and right now what we're going to be doing is because this is going to be a file so we need to transform it from a file to a stream so we're going to put var stream equal batch user batch user let's make it users so it has the right pronunciation so batch users because it's going to be a couple of users and basically we're going to utilize the open read stream so basically we're converting the iform file into a stream so convert to a stream great 
the next step right now is we're going to be defining a list of users we're going to be storing the information from that excel file into this list so we're going to call it users equal new list of user perfect now let's create a try and catch because basically we're going to be doing some io so it's always better to do it in a try and catch exception ex and in case something went wrong let's do console dot right line ex dot message and now let's fix the references great no so inside the try what we're going to be doing is we're going to be utilizing the excel package so again using var package equal new excel package and this is going to be a stream great and then from that point forward we're going to do is we're going to check the uh, worksheet that we have so var worksheet equal package dot workbook dot worksheets and then we're going to get the first one and for this we're going to be utilizing link so let us add this reference perfect and now we're going to get the numbers of row so we're going to call it row count equal uh, worksheet dot dimension dot rows perfect great once we have done that the next right now all we need to do is to loop through the results that we have so for var row because we don't want to start from the first row because it's going to contain the title so we need to start from the second row so we're going to make it equal to two and then if we're going to put row is less or equal to row count and then we're going to make row plus plus perfect and now all we need to do is we need to check the information one by one so how do we do that try and then let's put the catch because basically also we're going we're doing io reading so it's always better to do it on a try catch an exception exception ex as well console dot right line and this is going to be ex dot message great now inside the try catch we're going to put var name equal uh, worksheet dot cells we're gonna basically utilizing the row and we're gonna take from the first value which is gonna be a dot value uh, basically dot to string great and basically let's copy this and we'll make it for the email and for the phone so copy and this is going to be the email and here needs to be the second one the second cell and this needs to be the third cell and this is going to be the phone perfect so now so once we have done that all what's all what we need to do is basically var create a new user object equal a new user and let's fill this information here so it's going to be email equal email name name equal name and lastly phone equal phone perfect the next step is after this user has been uh, created we need to add it to the main user list that we have created here so all we need to do is users dot add and we're gonna add user perfect so once we have done that all we need to do right now which is we're going to be utilizing the index view so we're going to put return view and basically we're just going to pass the user list because it already is going to take a list of users oh sorry view and here's going to be basically uh, index great i think this is it uh, all what's left is we need to create the view for the uh, upload so let's take the name of this action so inside here let's create a new file uh, .cshtml. great and inside of this 
uh, let us create a div class equal row and then after that let's create a, another div class call dash md dash 12 and then basically let's create the form and this form is gonna go to asp dash action to batch user upload and asp dash controller to users and then we're gonna put the method equal post yep now let's close this uh, and we need to add one more thing which I almost forgot which is the ink type I think it's called yeah and we're gonna make it form data so basically this for this line here ink type multi-part form data tells this form that we're gonna upload some files so the next is gonna be very simple it's gonna be a div class form dash group we're just gonna make it uh, a label yeah label should be fine we'll call it upload file and then all we need to do is add an input list so input and we're gonna call it i think we called it here a uh, batch users yeah so let's put the id batch user and let's put the name batch users and let's give it a class we don't really need to have a class but let's call it a uh, form control yeah that should be fine and i think the last uh, thing we need to add here is we need to give it a file a type equal file and now all we need to do is add the button that's going to be responsible to push this so we're going to put button of type submit and basically here let's add a class equal btn btn dash uh, success and anything else let's give it the name upload user okay let's see how this look so it's building it's running let's refresh this and let's click on import import to excel hmm what did we call the action here? Batch users, we didn't call it import. So let's update this. Okay. And now let's stop it and run it again. Okay, perfect. Now let's come here and click on back. Refresh and click on this one. Okay, great. We now we see that it's taking a file and we have the upload button. All we need to do right now is prepare our Excel sheet so let's create a new excel sheet okay so this is the excel excel sheet that we're going to be creating so here's going to be name and here's going to be email and lastly it's going to be phone uh, let's make this um, blue and basically name let's put muhammad one i think yeah that should be fine yeah and here let's put muhammad one at email.com I think it will take it automatically if we're gonna drag it no it didn't we can update it manually that's fine so this should be Muhammad to uh, Muhammad 1 Muhammad 2 Muhammad 3 3 and lastly it's gonna be Muhammad 4 and as for the phone, I think this will take it automatically. Also, no. 222-333-444. Okay, great. Once we have done that, let us save it. Uh, save it on the Mac. And yeah, let's save it inside the documents. Uh, save it inside the desktop. YouTube, save it here. We'll call it user list and save great now all we need to do is let's go back to our web browser and let's choose this file so desktop youtube 
user list and let's click on upload user and as we can see here the import has worked and we have the rest the information already showing to us in the right order so we have Muhammad 1234 name Muhammad 1234 and the phone 11223344 great so basically what we have done here let's do a quick recap on the upload functionality or the import what we have done here first is basically we created an empty form and then we decided that we're gonna pass a iform file of code batch users first we check if the model is valid then we check the length if it actually contain any information then we converted that file into a stream we created an empty list where we're gonna store all of the information and then basically we utilize the excel package in order for us to utilize the excel files so basically what we did is we converted the stream into an excel package we looked into the first worksheet if we have multiple worksheets here we need to change to the different worksheet that we want to import then we check the number of rows that we have once we have done that all we have done basically is we have looped through it and saved it into the list and then we have gave it back to the view great thanks very much for watching please uh, in the comments down below uh, ask any questions that you might have or any inquiries uh, i'll be more than happy to help Please like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful and uh, if you made it this far, please type your favorite food at the end of uh, this video. Great. Uh, so I will know that, uh, that you have watched till the end and I will like the comment. Have a great day and thanks a lot.